Yeah. Our product is the pill popper. My name is Marisol Pelayo, and this is Javi Guerra. So our company is called Pill Popper Inc. Our product is a pill popper, which is a new prescription bottle. We're just trying to make regular prescription bottles are going to make it better. So by doing that, we're going to have an opening to dispense individual pills that are safe. We're going to launch our business by the end of April, keep our product at competitive pricing and grow our market share. And our market is people with Parkinson's or the elderly. Our problem is that people with that are elderly and Parkinson's disease have trouble opening these pill bottles and they often drop the pills onto the ground or and that currently the medicine bottles that are currently out there are not recyclable. Our customer needs is that they want something that's recyclable, they want something that's easily dispensed the pills, but they also want it safe for children. Our solution is that our product will avoid spilling the pills and for customers to avoid overdosing. And our extra feature of dispensing individual pills is convenient for all the, all the potential customers, especially the elderly and the Parkinson's disease people. And our product is also gonna be made of recyclable material and it's gonna be childproof. The way it works is it's gonna have a double click feature at the bottom of the bottle opening. You push up and the first click to the left opens up a small opening for a pill to dispense. The second click to the left opens up for a bigger opening so that larger pills can dispense. Once you're done with your dispensing your pills, you can push it up and click all the way to the right again until it goes back to the original place where it closes the hole. So this is our target market and customers and Tam and Sam. So the market is people buy prescribed medicine. We want it to focus on 20 to 65 year olds and you both class and people who use medicine, prescribed medicine once a year. And our total available market is $7.64 billion or 4 billion bottles used. And our served available market would be 20, billion, 20 million bottles used in California. And if we start term, we served 100% of the people on stock and that's what our, that's what our Sam would be. Our four Ps, the product will be P, pill popper, pill dispenser feature and size of a fist. The price is the value plus between eight and $9. It discounts to elderly and Parkinson's disease people. Our place would be Rite Aid, Walgreens, CVS and Walmart and Amazon. Our promotion is high traffic locations and pharmacies, our search engine on Amazon. So this is our competitor analysis. Competitor analysis and the port is five forces. For third of entrance is low. The third of substitute, substitutes is low. And the supply power is low, not the third of entrance. So how easy it is to enter the market, it's low. Our power is high and rivalry is high and our pill popper it's, is our product and the pill bottle is portable, user-friendly, convenient and safe to use and our competitors are only portable and safe. So that's how we distinguish, distinguish ourselves in the market. And the per, econo per unit economics costs 60 cents to make and we're selling it at $9 a unit. So it means we make $8. Dollars and twenty cents a unit. If we sell sixty thousand in a year, we'll make five, uh, over half a million dollars. This is just our financial forecast. This charts from cash operations. It's growing um, every single year from year zero to year five. And our ending cash reserves are going from negative to positive and growing every year. And then this cumulative cash flow is just. Uh, showing you what the charts were explaining. So this is our milestone and ask. We value a company at about $750,000 a million. We want to sell at least 25 to 35% of our stocks. And we're going to use the money to, obviously, we need investors of funds so we can invest 11000 so we can hire people and we want to create and sell the product immediately to our the pharmacies that we mentioned earlier. We want to lease out a building for operations for three to four thousand a month. 
and then we want to use at least 25,000 to invest in expansion. And then we're going to use that to expand. So within the first six months, uh, within a year, you want to buy a facility, establish our HQ, use over 100,000 to invest. We want to improve our market department and grow our bottle line production, and then hopefully expand in Northern California. The three-year mark, we want to open multiple warehouses in Northern California and Central Valley, have more employees for all aspects of our business, and have different models of bottles created, and then have a budget of 300000 for advertising and company expansion. Um, for our five-year mark, we want to uh, open warehouses and other buildings all over in California, improve our sales, marketing R&D, get ready to expand to other states that border California, such as Oregon and Nevada, and go public and offer shares in our company, being able to offer bonds. We want to thank you. Thank you.